Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a return to home test of the Mavic 4 Pro. It has that advanced return to home that can build a real-time map on its outbound flight that allows it to come in and land in really complex environments, such as patios, out of a garage. Even where I am right now, you can see there's trees all above me. When I fly out of here, I'm gonna go straight down this little corridor. I'm gonna take a hard right out over the water. And when we do a return to home, it should, in theory, be able to navigate that and come back and land pretty well where it took off from, even with all these trees above us. Traditionally, it would just come to the home point, come straight down, but environments like this, that's really not possible. So we're gonna put that to the test. The other interesting thing is that it can do this without satellites. So if you happen to lose satellite connectivity, it can still navigate and find its way home. So that's actually pretty impressive. And I must apologize, never fails. As soon as I start recording, a train decides to go by. So it might be a little noisy. But yeah, let's uh, put the drone up here. So right now, the drone is building a real-time map. So I'm gonna push the drone a little forward here. And uh, we're going to go out here. We're gonna make a hard right. As you can see, we got an opening there. So again, it's making a real-time map. We'll put it out over the water. So now we're just gonna go out a little ways. There we go, that should be good enough for 188, 89 meters away. So now I'm going to initiate a manual return to home. And it doesn't matter whether you've manually initiated it or if it's a fail safe return to home, if you've lost connection from the controller to the drone, this will work exactly the same way. So I'm just gonna press the button on the controller here and you can see it's going to show us a green line and show us the path that it's going to take. And you can see, if you look closely, it does have the drone coming down in front of the trees and then through that path. But it's very important to keep a close eye when you're doing this type of return to home because thin branches, there's a lot of thin branches around here and it may not get it right. I've never had that. The Air 3 has something very similar and it's always been very accurate. So we'll just keep an eye on it. So the drone is just coming down now. You'll be able to see it there in front of the water. It's detecting. There, it's making its turn. And as you can see, it's going down the path. Like that is phenomenal. Landing. Now it's gonna go ahead and land on the pad. Like, that's incredible. I am still blown away by that. The Air 3S can do something very similar, but to come through, make a hard right and know exactly where to land, just incredible. The technology these days that DJI is pushing out is absolutely phenomenal. That just makes flying a lot less stressful because you know, if you take off from an environment like this, in the past, like I said, it would just come to the home point and try and come straight down. But now it can build a map, know exactly how to get back, through complicated environments like this. So yeah, folks, just a quick demonstration of return to home with the Mavic 4 Pro and the RC Pro 2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.